Hi everyone, I'm Sylvia, a breast cancer survivor and founder of Amadira. While going through cancer treatment, I spent hours researching health topics and I created this channel to share my insights and be an extra health buddy for you. In my last video about body scrub, I talked about the benefits of scrub and how it's easy to make at home. Well, today I thought I'd show you just how easy it really can be by making a coffee scrub. I use coffee grounds left over from the coffee that I make at home, so there's an added benefit of being environmentally friendly and not wasting. Now you of course can use new grounds, uh, just make sure that you pick something that's not too coarse for your skin. So why coffee? One literature review I found says that there's a ton of evidence suggesting that caffeine and other nutrients contained in coffee may protect against melanoma and non-melanoma skin cancer. Moreover, as new data emerges, it's getting clear that coffee is also effective in inflammatory disease prevention, including inflammatory skin diseases like psoriasis and rosacea. 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 <laughs> so let's make uh, the scrub. This recipe is from tastefromhome.com and it's uh, super easy to remember. It's half a cup of three things plus a spoon of vanilla. So half a cup of coffee, half a cup of brown sugar, of course, you can use regular sugar you like, but uh, the brown ones tend to be a little bit softer for your skin. And then half a cup uh, of coconut oil melted. So I got that ready to go here. And then, like I said, uh, just a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So all you do, it's super easy, is put it into a container and mix. So let's get that going here. And add a half cup of coffee, coffee grounds. Uh, and if you do have your own grinder at home like I do, uh, I'd put this on the lowest setting that you possibly can, which is what I've done here. Because otherwise the coffee is going to feel a little too rough on your skin. Too much sandpaper. Uh, so coffee, sugar, regular brown sugar. Okay, put that down. And then coconut oil. So like I said, the recipe said half a cup. I have found over time that, at least for my own personal tastes, I like a little bit less. Um, so I suggest you actually go with less first, maybe a third cup, and then continue adding it uh, over time. I have this in front of here. Yes. Oh, almost forgot the vanilla. And obviously the vanilla is just more for smell than anything else, so totally optional. It's this. Until all the oil has been absorbed. So that is one thing I find if you don't put as much oil. So I probably have a little bit shy of that half cup of oil in here. You do have to mix a little bit more because it takes more time for the oil to absorb across all the ingredients. And that's it. So to use it, just rub a little bit on your skin. Uh, the only caution I have is to watch out for your eye area uh, and then the oil. Like I said, depending on the day, I feel like sometimes a little too much oil or you might want, um, or actually maybe you want more if your skin is dry. So adjust it as you need. Uh, just watch out for your eye area uh, and make sure that if you're using this in the shower, uh, that you watch out for the oil because it can get pretty slippery. Um, so yeah, rub and wash off. Uh, when I use this I feel actually an immediate lift the coffee like it really does tighten your skin up and it smells and tastes great I mean if you were to taste it it's sugar so it's like eating candy but it's not um, then of course I recommend that you store it in something opaque uh, like the FDA says cosmetics do spoil in the Sun so you want something that um, isn't see-through uh, like I mean these glass jars look great but it lets light in and it spoils your product more Water also contaminates it and does spoil it uh, also, so try to keep it away from water. Like use a spoon to put on your skin and then go and do uh, your washing. Um, and then of course, if even this little amount of work is too much, you can always uh, buy some scrubs. There's some great products on the shelf. And then of course, with Amadira, we have a great uh, turmeric and neem scrub that's fully organic. If you want to check it out, it's uh, available at amadira.com. And that's it for this video. Uh, if you like it, Please subscribe for more and until next time, take care.